In this video, we're going to sketch a log function. Um, in the next, so we'll just do a simple log function, log base 2 of x. Okay, in the next video, I'll, uh, I'll talk about how to sketch more complicated functions involving log um, using transformations of you know, this sort of graph. Okay, so this is basically the basic uh, log function graph. Um, so I'm going to do this two ways. First, I'm going to do it by plotting points. And then we know that the log base 2 of x is the inverse function of, um, of, two, of 2 to the x. So we'll graph the inverse function, and then we'll be able to graph this using that. So OK, anyway, let's go ahead and get started. We'll, we'll get started by doing points. So we'll plot points. Okay, so let's say, let me just go ahead and write a table. So um, we'll have x, and then um, and then the y coordinate will be the log base two of x. Okay, um, remember log log is our logs are the exponent, right? And the base is two, so it might be easier to come up with the y values that you want to plug in, and then find the corresponding x value. So if I want to plug in negative three. Um, for y, right? So if, if negative 3 is y, then that means that x would be base 2 to the negative 3, which is 1 eighth. Okay, if I plug in negative, um, oops, didn't mean negative 4, but negative 2 for y, remember log, logs are exponents, so that means that log base 2 of x equals negative 2, so 2 to the negative 2 power is what x is. So this would be 1 over 4. Okay, let's continue in this fashion. So negative 1, that would be 2 to the negative 1, which is 1 half. 0, 0, 1, 2, and 3. Let's go ahead and just do them all here. Okay, so 0 would be 2 to the 0, which is 1, 2 to the 1, which is 2, 2 squared, which is 4, and 2 cubed, which is 8. Okay, so now let's go ahead and start plotting these points. Um, oh, I forgot to do this side. Okay. Um, okay, so let's go ahead. The first point is 1 eighth, and neg and, so x equals 1 eighth, and y equals negative 3. So that's going to be, well, some really, I'm supposed to be really close to the negative 3. Okay, and then next, um, x equals 1 fourth and y equals negative 2. Okay. Let's see, somewhere around right there. Okay. Um, then I have x equals 1 half and y equals um, negative 1. So that's about right there. And uh, x equals 1 when y equals 0. OK, that's right there. Uh, x equals 2 when y equals 1. So that's there. And 4 and 2 is here. And then 8 and 3, which is about right there. OK, so if I were to graph this, let me try as best I can to connect these points. OK. Right, something like that. Okay, so this is the graph of f of x. Um, one thing I want to point out is that it has an asymptote. It has a vertical asymptote at x equals zero. Okay, so in okay, so in the next video or in the next slide, let me go ahead and show how this is an inverse um, of, of 2 to the x. OK, so here, you know, I wanted to show that this is an inverse. So I mean, um, first, let, let me go ahead and prove that to you that this is the inverse function of 2 to the x. So you know, if you're finding an inverse function, first thing you do is you replace f of x with y. And then you flip x and y. And so what this is saying is that log is the base is 2, the power is x, and it equals y. Okay, 
So g of x that equals 2 of 2 to the x power, this is the inverse function. Okay? All right, we can graph this one easily because, I mean, we've already talked about this in previous videos about how to graph this. So um, let me go ahead and let me make that a little smaller. All right, so let's go ahead and graph g of x first. So remember, um, when you plug in, you know, when you plug in um, 0 for x, you know, in g of x, you, you get 1. So, th you know, it always goes through the y-axis at 1. And then if I were to plug in, you know, 1, it's 2. If you were to plug in 2 for x, it's 4. Okay, and we know its shape because we've done this in previous. So at, at 3, it's 8. So let me just do one more. Okay. We've done this in previous sections. Okay, so that's the function of g of x. All right, now remember, inverse functions are reflections over the line x equals y. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and draw that line x equals y as best as I can. All right. Okay, so I'm just going to dot it out. So this is the function y equals x, x equals y, y equals x. All right, so the inverse function of this, so we, what would you do? You would flip, you know, each of these points. You know, so this, um, this first point here is uh, 0, comma, 1, okay? So when you're doing the inverse, you would do 1, comma, 0, which is here. And then this next point is 1, comma, 2. So if you were doing the inverse, you would do 2, comma, 1. So x is 2 and um, y is 1. All right. And then lastly, this point up here is 3, 8. So if you're doing the inverse, you would say x is 8 and y is 3. Remember, inverse functions just kind of change out what's in x and y. So if we were to flip, or if we were to reflect this, we would get this line. Okay, And this is the f of x. This is the log function. Okay, so you can see how it's just a reflection over x equals, or y equals x. Okay, so let's, let's talk, uh, I'm just going to go to the next slide real quick and we'll just do a in general situation for log functions. Okay, so in general, you know, if you have f of x equals the log base a, of x, and if we were to graph it, all right, um, if a is greater than 0, you remember that um, if a is greater than 0, there was this shape for the function um, a to the x, right? So if you reflect that, then in general, there's going to be, let me go ahead and I'll do this one in black there's going to be this shape, okay? So for um, log base a of x, okay? And um, it used to be, so for this function, you had a horizontal asymptote at y equals zero. And then so in general, for log um, base a of x, as long as a is greater than zero, in general, you will have a vertical Acetote at x equal to zero. Very similarly, we can draw similar conclusions for when x is between zero and one. I'm going to go ahead and make this smaller so I can fit that. Okay, so say x is between zero and one. Uh, I mean, not x is between zero and one, a is between zero and one. Okay. Um, if a is between 0 and 1, we know that the function a to the x basically looks like this. Okay, so this is the function a to the x. Okay, we talked about this in previous sections. All right, and so if I were to reflect that over the origin, that would look like, so I would still be intercepting here, then I'd be getting closer and closer to x here. 
Okay, and it would look like this. All right, so this is log base A of X. And same thing goes with the horizontal and vertical acetopes. So they have, so here HA, the horizontal acetope was Y equals zero. And here the vertical acetote is X equals zero.